I used to be poor. Huh. That was not a joke. Never spent some time in jail, but never dropped the soul. No, spent some time in jail, but never dropped the soul. Spend some time in jail, but never dropped the soul. Uh, yep. Like you heard in the song, I. I went to jail, okay? Spent some time in jail, but never dropped the soap. I'm gonna tell you in this video what happened and how I ended up there. But first, I'm not a criminal, okay? So, calm down in the comment section. Like, I never really told this story on YouTube, like, about what happened. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys, like, you know, the don't tell story, what really happened. I never really spoke about it. Let me get comfortable first, okay? I never really spoke about it, and I just feel like, you know, can be hiding this a lot and in a couple of weeks my documentary is gonna come out so there's gonna be more details about this story in the documentary you guys are gonna you know learn about me a lot in that documentary so you need to get ready to watch that documentary i'm probably gonna drop it on netflix on amazon prime all those you know nice little uh, networks where you can watch videos okay but first we have some couple of things to open okay youtube sent me a box for you guys okay like uh a gift that I'm gonna give to my loyal subscribers and one of my good friend PG sent me a package of his clothing line We're gonna open it too and see what's inside. I'm probably gonna give some away to you guys So hit like button right away if you're excited about this, okay, because I'm really excited. And here you go They sent me this like last week and I haven't sent it to anyone yet, okay? They sent me a lot of pins, okay? For my real subscribers. So what is it is like me? You know the cartoon that you see in my videos intros yep they send me like you know pins of it with the easy hat on it yeah that i think there's like a hundred so a hundred of you guys can win this so the way you can win this is simple just uh, just add me on snapchat instagram and twitter all the links are in the description my twitter is momo from togo my snapchat is momo santos my instagram is momo easy official on instagram i'm gonna send it to 10 people i'm just gonna dm you guys out of nowhere on Snapchat, I'm gonna snap you guys. 10 people, Twitter, 10 people, till it's over, okay? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, I think 10 times. And probably gonna pick like 10 people on um, YouTube, 30 people on Instagram, 30 people on Twitter, 30 people on Snapchat, and 10 people on YouTube. So yeah, you know what you gotta do if you wanna win, you know, one of these pins. Now, let's get back to this package that we received from PG, Mr. Clean Guy. What is inside this though, really? Curious. Ah! Oh boy, oh boy, this boy didn't play. PG didn't play at all. We have like a mouse pad where I can put my mouse on. It's really nice though. You can see that my mouse is over there, single. So this is definitely needed. We got some clean cups. Yes, yes, yes. What else? I think we got some, some stickers. Let me double check. Yep, we got some clean monster stickers that I can put on my fridge or anything. Nah, thank you so much, PZ. This is dope. Thank you. And then, uh, what is this? Oh, some like mini posters. What's this? Ah, we got a t-shirt, yeah. We got a clean t-shirt, baby. We got a clean t-shirt. Boy, I'm wearing this tomorrow. I'm traveling tomorrow, by the way. I'm wearing this tomorrow. And wristbands. Ah, GGPG. This is so nice. Ha. Thank you so much. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna give away one wristband. I'm gonna give away this wristband. Tons of this. Ton of this. And ton of this. So all this is for you guys, okay? I'm giving away all this for you guys. But I'm not giving away the t-shirt, okay? I'm keeping the t-shirt for myself. The easy t-shirt and the clean t-shirt, I'm keeping them for myself. All you need to do is just follow me, stay active on my social media, and I'll DM you. It's that simple. Now, let's get back to the story, okay? The story is really, really not funny, but interesting, okay? But it's short. My homeboys wanted to go rob a bank. You know, we kind of poor. So they just, they stole the car. They put me in the car. We went and robbed the bank. 
and we went to jail. End of the story. I hope you guys enjoy. See you tomorrow for another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Just hit that like button. Nah, let me stop playing, okay? So, I was in high school. I think I was in uh, 12th grade, okay? That was my last class, and uh, I was going to college, okay? But, to be honest, in that moment of my life, school wasn't my, you know, my, my, my main focus, okay? I wanted to make money. I wanted to make money, but school wasn't really bringing me any money. Zero money, bro. And I was ugly. So, you know, girls didn't really care that much in school. Nah, I wasn't ugly, though. I'm playing. I was like the youngest in the class and girls were older than me okay I was like 18 or 19 and the girls in my class were like 24 25 so they looking at me like who's this little boy what am I gonna do with this little boy his dick is probably like two inches and this is not true that's what they be thinking so I had no chances okay had no chance so I had to find a way to like you know make an impact and the best way to make impact is money you know money makes impact so i started you know dealing not drugs though starting like you know dealing oh you have this yeah i can get this cheaper for you you want to buy this i can buy this for you and you know i'm i'm i'll be i'll be making some money from commissions etc etc so there's this guy in my class who be doing the same type of type of business so he knows you know stuffs but here's the thing like i wanted to play a player you can't play a player can you play a player? No. He had one of those phones, you know, that our parents be using. The one you be clapping, clap, you open, and you clap, ploof. I forgot the name, like flip flop phones or whatever they call them. Clap phones. Yo, hey, leave me alone. I don't, I forgot the name. So, he had one of them, and he asked me, the phone, he wanted to sell the phone. So, asked me, yo, Momo, do you know anyone who want to wanna buy this phone, you know? I didn't know anybody who wanted to buy it. And we, was, we, we were getting close to the end of the year. We were about to go to the final exam. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to see this nigga even in my life. Probably. So you know what? Let me tell him that I know somebody who wants to buy a thing. And then I'll just run away with his phone. And I'll sit. Never going to find the guy again. I'm gonna just run away with his phone and uh, he'll never see me ever again and bingo that's a that's a w and that's an l for him sounds like a plan right well didn't really go as planned he gave me the phone okay i did a big mistake i wanted to give the phone to someone else okay i want to give the phone to someone else i told the guy go sell it for me because me, I, I, I couldn't find anyone who wanted to buy the phone. So I, so somebody else was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy in my, in my house who want to buy the phone. So okay, you know, take the phone, go sell it to him. Give me the money. And in the time that I was doing that, I went to school and I told my bro, I can't find your phone, man. But I, I'm going to be keep looking, though. Don't think he's lost. Maybe I just forget somewhere. I'm going to keep looking. The guy's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Bro. I have a lot of phones. When you find it, let me know. Okay, let me know. But don't, don't worry. So I was like, wow. Is that easy? Cool. I was playing myself the guy just didn't want it to be rude because we were good friends okay he didn't want it to be rude couple of days later i approached my other guy like yo you saw the phone yet what's going on the guy is telling me he can't find the phone are you flipping retarded he can't find the phone so right now i'm in a tro i'm in a big trouble i told this guy that i lost his phone and it was a lie okay i wanted to sell the phone to keep the money but now the person i wanted to sell the phone with is telling me that he lost the phone how am i gonna solve that problem and boom like when when bad things happen to you they don't have they don't happen alone the guy in the school start pressuring me yeah bro i think i need a phone now though times are tough i think i need a phone i want to sell him i want to sell the phone i need it either you bring me the phone or the money either you know one of them it started getting tough. I started skipping school just so I don't see this guy because we're in the same class. And during that time, the other guy couldn't find the phone. Bro, it got deep. Exam. We went to the exam. This guy was pressuring me. I think he finally recognized and you know know that okay, this guy, you trying to play me. 
he knows now that I'm trying to play him. And now he's being aggressive. Remember, he didn't want it to be aggressive because you, you were a friend. Now, fuck that friendship, bro. Bro, the guy be attacking me in class like this. And he was putting kind of shame on me. So I, I, I was skipping a lot of class just because of him. When I see him, poof, I dodge him. I leave. And he asked one of my friends in school to show, to show him my house. The guy came to my house, bro. He came to my house in front of my parents. Not my parents, like dad and mom don't know. My dad and mom were in the United States when that was happening. They came and saw my big bros and my grandma. Yo, your little brother lost my phone, blah, blah, blah. He gave me three days. He's like, Momo, now I'm getting mad. In three days, if I don't get my phone, you're going to be in trouble. He just told me you're going to be in trouble. So I had three days to go, like, kill that guy who lost my phone. Eh? I don't know if he was lying to me, whatever. But I had three days to kill him. I went to school on like the third day. We, we went to like, you know, recreation to eat, etc. And hmm. surprise, this guy came with two cops. Two cops. And they took me, bro. They took me. They came and said, yo, we wanted to talk to Momo. They put me inside, we was talking like, where's the phone, blah, blah, blah. He gave you three days. Do you have the phone? I'm like, no, pow. In Africa, there's no discussion. When the cops catch you, there's no, oh, I want to talk to my lawyer. What lawyer? Slap the shit out of you. There's no lawyer over here, okay? Pow. They took me to jail, bro. It wasn't a joke, okay? I never wanted to step foot in a, in a jail cell in my life, but well, I have no choice. The cell was... Like, let's say, how many meters? Let's, let's say three square feet, okay? Three. No, 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 not three, not three. No. Let's say ten. Ten, ten feet. Yeah, yeah, ten square, ten square feet, okay? I don't really know dimensions. Hey, leave me alone, okay? Is it by force? Whatever. Give me. They put me in that little cell with five other criminals, okay? Bro, we were tight, sweating. Five other criminals. They told me, you're going to be here. Till your parents bring the money for the for the for the phone, okay? It's fifteen thousand uh, Togo money, which is twenty dollars. I went to jail for twenty dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Maximum twenty twenty five dollars. I went to jail for twenty five dollars. <laughs> What's that? But I have a big brother that I told everything, okay? And uh, my my friend at school went to tell him that, oh, bro. The little brother is in trouble they came and they picked him up so he called my mom my mom sent money but you know when they send money the time zone is so different that they can't really take the money the same day so it gotta be the next day so i spent the night there i couldn't sleep that night because there was mosquitoes biting me biting every single skin of me in that jail cell it think it's scary and the niggas in the in the in the cell with me those people was, were criminals okay rapists murderers thieves yeah i thought i was a thief okay i was stealing phones <laughs> those people were, were stealing banks robbing banks killing people bro my luck is that it's not really jail it is where they put you first you know okay we're gonna we're gonna think about you if you we, we could we can find a solution in the next couple of days we take you to prison yeah it's just like you know a little cell there so it's not really big jail big jail and everybody that comes into the the police station they can see you hmm? so I was so lucky, I only spent the night there. Only a night. I came, they came to drop me there like, you know, 11 a.m. school, you know, because I was at school. And as I was there, they was uh, uh, interrogating me for like a couple of hours and then poof, they dropped me in the cell at like 2 p.m. So I was there from 2 p.m. to next morning, let's say 1 p.m. That's when my big brother came with the money and they released me, bro. I was so ashamed of myself. The good thing is, he didn't tell my parents that I got arrested. So nobody in my family knows that I got arrested. He just told them that, oh, Momo, your your your, your son, you know, lost somebody's phone. And he's getting pressure on hitting the money ASAP. So if you can send something quick, that'll be good. $25, bro. $25. Moral of the story, <laughs> do not, I repeat, do not try and finesse. Okay, people, it's not good. The guy, the guy had faith in me. 
He trusted me. He gave me his phone to go sell. And I came and told him the phone was lost. Even though the phone wasn't lost. And karma, pow, hit me and it threw me in jail. Crazy. But yeah, that's the story. If you guys enjoy and want to hear more stories, I told you guys I have files on top of files on top of files for you guys. Just hit the like button. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, you know what to do. My social media links are in the description. I'll catch you tomorrow for another video though. I have a flight to catch in a couple of hours. If you guys want me to vlog it, I'll do it, okay? But yeah, take care. I love you and peace. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Just hit that like button. I know you like watching. I know you like watching. Just hit that like button. 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes. Just make sure you definitely like. Oh. Hit the like button, hit the like button. Hit it, hit it. I know that you enjoyed the video. Why don't you just hit the like button? Hit it, hit it. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Pow, pow. If you don't hit the like button, there will be a lot of problems. A lot of problems. You don't want a lot of problems.